good evening and welcome back again. So nice to see you and to be here. Um, we've missed the last couple of years due to um, of the pandemic, but and in the process, of course, we had to some of our children graduate and some of this come back. So this is what's left of this group that started it originally. And I, I really want to take the time to explain to you how this program came about. Since we're in the library, I'm going to tell you about this book. Uh, about 10 years ago, a gentleman came to Sal, the Spanish community of Wallington, and left three books he was donating. Um, the person who received them was a part-time worker and, and didn't think to take his name and number. So he never learned what his name was. But eventually I found out he was a, a teacher at Choke who was retiring and he was a Spanish teacher. And so he was really trying to get rid of his books and, and he had three books who, that were um, about popular music in, in Spain, and old and, and new. But this one was about Christmas carols, the young people. And it was about June. So I spent the summer looking through this book, playing through them. And we had a, 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 a friend from Spain come and stay with us for a few weeks. And I had him go through them and see if any of them were familiar to him. And he pointed them out to, to me. And it turned out that I had selected some of those. So I think I have a very good sense of what's a good Christmas carol. <laughs> so, um, we were going to be doing 15. Now, don't be overwhelmed by what you see in the program. Each one of these is only about a minute and a half, two minutes at the most. So that's why I could pick a lot of them. And usually, these are done by children. And so they expect us to have all kinds of percussion instruments, drums and tambourines and bells and strings. The string instrument that was um, inherited from the Arabs who dominated Spain for so many years, they brought a lot of instruments that, that became uh, Spanish instruments. I will, I will translate the words before each song because it, it's too much to write in the program, but I think it helps you understand the music by saying a little something about each one. So you'll be hearing a lot from me. I'll try to keep it short because I don't want to be longer than the song. Okay. Now, all of these songs are divided into the five categories that we have for anything having to do with Christmas, which is the star, the shepherd, angels, the nativity, and the three kings. I used to put these in chronological order, but I decided it was best if I, if I put them in arrange, arrange them by keys and by slow songs and fast songs. And so they're going to be intermingled. And um, when I give you the translation, you will see that it, that it works. Now, most of these are from Spain, but I, I was able to sneak in one from Puerto Rico, which I really like. And it's a very, very good starter, a good opening. And there are a couple of Mexican uh, tunes in here also. And so I'll be telling you that as we talk. We're going to start with one from Puerto Rico. It's called Pastores Averen. Now, those are shepherds on their way to Bethlehem. Let's go with joy, for the son of Mary is born. There, there Jesus awaits. Then, let's take nuts and honey to offer the child to Emmanuel. Let's go see the newborn child, Emmanuel. O oh, celestial child, bless the shepherd who run to the portal singing your praises.
Spanish tune that is uh, sung and played throughout throughout the country. Ale Kun, um, I couldn't ever find out what that means, but I think it's just one of those little phrases like fa la la, you know, you can't <laughs> translate it. So birds sing out in expectation, Ale Kun, while the sparkling waters ring with laughter. The virgin walks through a dark mountain. Belén tocan a fuego. This is from uh, uh, Catalan. Oh, here's my family. They went to the wrong place. <laughs> Please come up here. This song refers to the birth of Jesus, a fact so extraordinary that the bells in Bethlehem sound as for a fire. The custom existed where they rang bells to warn when there was a fire in the village. So the lyrics are, in Bethlehem, they ring the fire bells. <coughs> from the portal come the flames. A star from the sky has fallen on the straw. From this great fire, its light will light the whole world to save humanity until glory in heaven. Mexico, El Roro. Um, Alaruru is a, again, it's like rock of my baby. 
my little child. Sleep, my little Jesus. From the elephant <coughs> to the mosquito, guard the baby silently. Night of fortune, night of joy. Blessed delight, divine merit. Celestial choirs, with their sweet accent, sing the joy of his birth. And this is pretty well known. I've been hearing choirs in this country do this one for many years. It's another lullaby. This one is from Spain. Come, let's sing a little lullaby. My Jesus sleeps, blessed be he. Little spring running clear and loud. Nightingale that in the forest sings and weeps. Hush, how the cradle rocks. Cinnamon shoot, lily in the bud. Go to sleep, life of mine, how I lull you. Go to sleep, for my song sprouts from my soul. Our soloist is Diana Lopez.
Jorge, uh, corre al portalico, it's from Andalusia. Run to the little manger, for there is a child born. I'll be the first to arrive. I'll be the first to see him. Mary, Jesus, and Saint Joseph. Angels are from heaven, shepherds from the earth. The portal is being dusted with songs from the light. At 12 midnight, I called great voices. Everyone must go to the portal. There quickly is where I must see you. And each one of these um, verses ends with Mary, Jesus, and Saint Joseph. Ya viene la vieja. There comes the old woman. The old woman brings <coughs> gifts. It seems to him a lot. And then the chorus is green pampanitos. I looked for that word. I couldn't ever tell you what it was. Pampanitos. Does anyone know what a pampanito is? Let me see. <laughs> Lemon leaves. The Virgin Mary, mother of the Lord. The, in the second verse, the lady, the, the woman is replaced by the kings. The kings come through the sands. They're bringing the child a crib and diapers. The kings come with their wonders. They brought the child their rich blankets. Manolito is uh, a, a name of a, a child, I think. Andalusia. Manolito of the green dress. I am of the Virgin Mary. I was born in a manger. Manolito of the white dress. I am of the Virgin Mary and the Holy Spirit. 
Manolito of the blue dress. I am of the Virgin Mary, and I will die on the cross. And each verse is followed by a chorus that says, Blissful shepherds who with grand fervor were the first to love God. popular in Mexico and all of South America, but it comes from Spain, Los Peces en el Rio. And uh, this song draws, draws a contrast between the fishes in the water who are excited about the birth of the, the baby Jesus and the Virgin Mary who goes about doing her daily chores. So each verse tells about one of the chores and in between are the choruses about the fish.
So the next one is uh, also very popular in this country. Uh, fum, 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 which re refers to smoke. This is from Catalan, so the original language would not have been Spanish, it would have been uh, Catalan. So the, um, the three verses, the 25th of December, like a sun, S-U-N, was born Jesus, radiating light. He was the son of Mary. Second verse, a stable was his cradle. At the top of the mountain, there are two little shepherds. And the third one, little stars from the sky, light the dark night with your pure and clear light. Esta noche, caballeros, tonight, gentlemen, is the nativity. Jesus was born of Mary in a poor stable. We've come to awaken the men from this home, for tonight is the nativity. From faraway lands we come this night to sing. Bring us, with God's blessings, gifts with charity. This is from Asturias. Blanco. This is from Castilla. On a white skin with little wool, the Virgin Mary gave birth to the son of her womb. Play the tambourine, for the night is short, and we have long to walk. The soloist on this one is, uh, let me see, Jenny who's been playing the percussion. She's doing the solo and then the chorus will respond. Yeah.
Kepa Thumba is definitely a children's song. And usually, well, even the, the words themselves, Kepa Thumba, I don't know what that means, but it says, with tambourines and rattles. And then Gatatumba, stay out of the straw. <laughs> Gatatumba, play the whistle and the rebec. And that's a three stringed instrument uh, from, uh, uh, that Arabians brought to Spain. And then drums and bells. So it's supposed to be a noisy one, but we're just going to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> Una pandereta suena. A pandereta is a tambourine, making a joyful noise from the procession to see Jesus and Mary. This is from Andalusia also. failed to uh, get the translation. I'm very sorry. Camina la Virgen Pura. She is um, traveling, and um, the chorus, it, it talks about her experience as, as this wonderful, uh, very impressive <coughs> vision. And then the chorus is all about the uh, three kings, and it mentions each one of them uh, by name three times. Is it th th three verses? We're doing it three times. So, so you will hear what's going on. They talk about the virgin, and then you have the three kings referred to. The, the soloist on this one is Brianna Gonzalez.
So we've done our 15 songs, and the next one is going to be um, a, uh, a dance from Seville. And if my phone is still working, I would like to ask the... Um, Saul, can you please move all of the instruments over there while I talk about the dance? Thank you. So in Seville, this dance is, is, is known by everyone. Every male and female, elderly and young, dance the Sevillano. And it's essential. So we have uh, we discovered it when we went to visit Seville several years ago, and I I brought it back and taught it to these girls with some help from uh, Julieta, our dance teacher. You know, this dance is really four dances. One, two, three, four, and there's a stop in between each one. The music continues. So when each one is is done. You may applaud, and it's very helpful if you do because it, it brings a little more life. So let me tell you what the story is. It's the story of a poppy that escaped from among the wheat. They say that an almond tree saw it. They say that the olive tree saw it. Saw it. They say that the moon saw it for far from the road. And on Monday morning, it's the Monday of the crowd. They say that it descended from heaven with the Virgin of Hermosillo caressing its skin. The second one is the story of a shepherdess who left her farmhouse. They say that she saw the poppy that escaped from among the wheat, which the divine shepherd boy was playing. He was playing with that. And while uncovering the face with the lights of the dawn, they say that the crowd yelled, we have a shepherdess who is the virgin and a rocio. And Rocio is a shrine in Spain. Everyone knows about it. It has a very special virgin there. The third one is the story of a dove that descended from heaven. They say that a star saw it. They say that a bright star saw it. They say that the night saw it, drinking from a little stream. And the Monday of pilgrimage, when the temperature climbed, they saw it in the morning above the wagon of the Brotherhood of Triana. Adriana is a, a neighborhood of Sevilla, on the other side of the bridge where all the gypsies live. And the last one, the story of an Almontian. This is a, a, a man from Almont, Almonte who went hunting. They say he saw a shepherdess still more beautiful than the white lily's flower and the light of day. Wanting to know who she was, he asked and heard a voice that left him silent and cold. I am the mother of God and the virgin of El Rocio. So now you will see this dance. Yes, the dancers are Jenny Lopez and Sofia Lopez, <laughs> first cousins. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, now, in the past, we've always done one verse in German, one verse in Spanish, and one verse in English. Tonight, we're going to do one verse in Spanish and the three traditional verses in English. So if you don't know them, the girls and, and Eduardo will direct you. So the first one is in Spanish and then three in English. And uh, why don't you go stand up there? And yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you need to, can you stand? And we're very, very fortunate to have with us Saul Olivas. He's a professional mariachi harpist, and he is the mariachi instructor at SCAL, and is uh, responsible for the mariachi called um, um, Laure Los Laureles del Monte, which means the mountain laurel. Mm -hmm. 